everybody. This is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat. And I'm just going to go really quick through some cards that I made because I don't want to bore you. I'm not doing a tutorial. I'm just doing a card share. But they all are watercolored images um, using my Tim Holtz Distress Inks and some of my Tilda Stamps. So I'm going to start by sharing my Tilda Stamps with you. So I'll be back in one second. All right, here is my first uh, stamp, and I used Tilda with knee socks. My next stamp is Tilda with ponytail. She is adorable. I love images that sit. Then this one is called Loves Me, Loves Me Not Tilda. And it actually comes with a little stamp right here that says, He do, he don't. Aw, oh, hopes he does. She's pulling the little petals like you used to do when you were kids. He loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. And you hope that he does love you. You know? <laughs> so that is adorable. I, I think about that as a kid. How I used to do that and I just think it's sweet. And this one is Divine Tilda. She's one of my favorite images. And then here's another one that sits, and this is Tilda with Beau Beret, and she looks like that. Really cute, really cute stamps, and I will be back in one moment with my cards. All right, here is Tilda with her Beau Beret, and I just cut out the panel. I colored this on this paint or this paper Strathmore Bristol Smooth now I did do some on watercolor paper and I will try to point those out when I get to them so you can see if there is a slight difference I think in the two papers and how the distress inks and stuff work with them so I'll try to point that out but this is Tilda with Beau Beret this is first edition paper back here I can't find that here in the states anymore so I don't know if it's still even available, but this one is several, several years old. And so here she is. This is my first card. Here's my next card. And this one is on a watercolor paper. So you can kind of see here how they, one with the watercolor just kind of spreads a little easier. So, I mean, I, I like the way it looks on both. You know, you do whatever works for you. And, you know, whatever you have in your stash. So, I mean, it it works on both. And my, my husband did say that you could tell this is more of a watercolor than this one. But I still think they both look adorable. And here's Tilda sitting again. I just did some weathered wood distress ink around the edge here. And then some mowed lawn down here at the bottom. And I did use um, one of my... Sakura pens and I can't think of the name of it right now. I'll put it on the screen right here. I Can't think of it. <laughs> oh my golly and I use that pen all the time But it put a little bit of a sparkle in her hair and I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick it up But I really liked how it looked It's the clear star jelly roll pen and it has the sparkle that comes out and it just brings you a, a little line of glitter so I just went over it real fine and put little sparkles through her hair. Because, and you know, when you someone you look at someone's hair, when the light hits it, it does have a shine to it and a sparkle. So that's what I was thinking when I added it in her hair. I really liked how it turned out. So here are two of my cards, and I'll be right back with the next. Guys, I decorated the envelopes, and since I put my address on the front of this one, I'm not going to flip it over. But on the back, I just um, used my glaze, or my my white jelly roll pen to do my name in here and to make it look like it was brush lettering I just went over and thickened up the lines where the strokes would be thicker and that's just on the back so that whenever somebody gets it they know it's from me that was my thinking with that and I'll be right back here are my next um, images and again this one is on watercolor you can feel the difference in the texture and this one <coughs> is these were both done on watercolor images or on watercolor paper and I will tell you I used my Arteza real brush markers on this watercolor paper and it's a good quality watercolor paper it would not blend at all it wouldn't move I I don't know why it 
it's just something I've <laughs> I've never experienced with any kind of watercolor before. I mean, I don't have an extensive knowledge in watercolor, and these are my first watercolor pens, but they're supposed to be watercolor, and they wouldn't move on a watercolor paper. I, I don't know why. I, I can't even begin to tell you. So I was a little disappointed in that, but it just was on this one right here with her hair. The rest is done with distress inks. And I just put a sentiment on this one because it was driving me crazy. It was just too bland. And again, I just cut down the layers to do... I was just... I don't know. I don't normally do layers like this. But I decided that was what I wanted to do on these cards. to just Because I had sat and colored the images. And then put the cards together. I used Recollections 110 pound cardstock for all the bases. This is a cream and this is a gray. But they're all the same Recollections 110 pound cardstock. I love that for my card bases. It makes a nice, thick, sturdy card. Love how they turned out. I'm really enjoying practicing this watercoloring. And I hope that you guys are not going to be so sick of it by the end of this, you know, by the time I'm ready to move on to something else. Because I'm really enjoying it. So I hope that you like them. And super easy, super simple cards. A sentiment from... Um, I believe it was a Stampendous set that I purchased at Michael's. It was an old set. I, I've had it for probably six, seven years. But any sentiment that you have will work. I'm just trying to get you to use what you have. Something that you see and you say, gee, that, you know, those, those cards were really simple and plain. Nothing fancy. I can do those. Anybody can make can cards. Anybody can. I've seen so many people going, I don't know how to make cards. Yes, you do. If <laughs> You can do this. Anybody can do this. And these are your basic, simple cards. They require no tools other than a paper trimmer. And that's all I used was a paper trimmer. And I fussy cut the images out. I didn't even have dies because they don't make dies for tilde stamps. So, well, at least I don't think that they do. They didn't when I purchased mine. Let's put it that way. So anybody can make cards. If you don't think you can, I challenge you to try I would appreciate if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one card swap with me. Let me know. If you think you can't make a card, I will swap a card with you. Because I guarantee you, you can. And now that I've done that and got all wound up over it, I'll get back to my cards and just be real quick with one more set. And I'll be right back. Here is my last two cards. Again, colored up with the Distress Inks. Used papers that I had in my stash. And this, this paper, this paper, well, all of these came from the same paper pad. And, again, it was an old paper pad. I don't know that I even have the top of it, but they were all hooked together. So, I know they came from the, you know, it came from a set. And I just trimmed down the papers the way that I wanted them. Colored them up. Now, one is colored with, this is aged mahogany. This is Fired Brick. I did a blonde, a brunette. Same colors that I've showed in the past that I use for my, or earlier, that I use for my uh, skin tones. And black for their boots. I mean, I just, you know, but I just think they're adorable. And I think they look like two completely different cards based off of the papers that I chose. And I colored these up ahead of time, so I had no idea what papers I was going to use. And, um... But I think I was able to make both, even though I used two different colors of red, was still able to make them match the the pinks and the reds in the background of the paper. So I really like this, and I really just want to encourage you guys to get out there and make cards this year. Don't just make them. You have to make them and send them. That's the deal. You know, I'm like, my husband's like, why do you make all these cards? You got a box full. I'm like, well... I'm going to send them this year. That's why I've made them all in the past. So my, my goal this year is to make more cards, decorate the envelopes, and send them out. I really want to send them out. That's, that's my goal. And I have a friend who's got stage 4 colon cancer. And I've been trying to send her a card every week. And it's really hit me how important it is to just let people know you love them. You know, just something simple. You know, I made some cards for my sisters. I haven't made my sister's cards in over a year. 
And I thought, this is silly. I love my sisters. Why don't I do this? I make these cards all the time. Well, you know, you know, make them, but send them. Don't put them in your stash. Don't think, oh, I'll, I'll do that eventually. You know, sometimes eventually is too late. So, you know, this is really, her having this cancer has really shown me that I need to, sorry guys, my <coughs> camera or my card was full and it cut me off, but I'm just wanting to get the point was I was trying to make was that, you know, nobody's guaranteed tomorrow. So make sure you tell the people that you love that you love them today. So send out those cards that you make. That would mean a lot to people. I know it means a lot to me when I get one. So, you know, be sure to send your cards out to the people that you love and care about. And I will get off my soapbox. All right. Again, I colored everything with distress inks. And if you have any questions about it, you know, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll share the brushes I use, the colors I use, the anything I use. I am more than willing to let you know what I did, you know, and try to share that information with you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And remember to practice your CPR. Craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.